Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, you will learn about different ways which you can use to uh, swipe till a particular element is uh, displayed on the screen for both Android and iOS using APM. If you are new to the channel, uh, my name is Vasek Bamla and uh, I have 16 plus years of experience in testing field. On this channel, I post videos related to testing, test automation and tips and tricks related to test automation. Do subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for to get notified whenever a new video is posted on this channel. Let's jump into the video. Before we dive deep into the demo, let's first understand all the three options. So the three options which we will be looking into is the first one is the traditional approach, which is uh, like you, need, you are just uh, swiping on the screen until you are able to see the element. The, this approach will work on both Android and iOS. Uh, the second approach is uh, related to executing a script uh, on uh, Android and iOS. So both these uh, platforms are having different commands for executing on the, uh, on those platforms. Uh, we look into those uh, commands and uh, what arguments uh, it requires to execute. The last option is related to the selector, which is only applicable for Android. And uh, in that, uh, the, when you find uh, the element using that selector, uh, it will automatically swipe on the screen and it will uh, reach the element. So let's jump into the demo. Now let's start with the first uh, option where we will be using traditional swipe approach to swipe till the element is visible. So we'll look into this example with Android first. Uh, so this is the test method which uh, we'll be looking into. Uh, so let's see what uh, what is there in this uh, test method. So first, uh, uh, I'm initializing the home page where I will be clicking on the swipe tab on the WebDriver IO application. So I'll show you the WebDriver IO application. So this is the application, uh, WebDriver IO application. So here is the uh, swipe tab which I'll be clicking on. And uh, once I will click, I will wait. To, I will try to search the WebDriver IO logo, which is uh, available at the bottom of the screen. So if, uh, I will first try to check whether this uh, element is displayed or not. If it is not displayed, then we will check another condition that the swipe count is less than the maximum swipe count. So here we are tracking that how much time we should uh, swipe before we consider that the element is not available on the page. So we are having a counter also, like it will track how much time you have uh, swiped and it will check against the threshold we have kept for maximum swipe. So this while loop will work uh, with, with, with two conditions. First condition, it will check whether that element is displayed. If it is not displayed, then it will continue and check another condition that swipe count is less than the max swipe count. And then it will do a swipe up. This loop will continue until this element, uh, this method returns false means that the element is now displayed. So once it is displayed, it will exit the while loop and we will assert the logo and it will, we will check that this logo is now displayed. Now let's execute this test and uh, see if it is working fine. So I'll right click on this uh, method and I'll click on run. Now, first it will uh, execute the, this test on the Android emulator. So you can see that the application is now installed and it is launched. Now it will swipe until this element is displayed. So now it has swiped two times. Now on the third time, it is able to see the logo. So once it is uh, visible, the test exited and it passed. Another thing to notice here is while swiping, I am using the W3C actions uh, and that uh, is implemented in this class, finger gesture utils class. So this uh, is the swipe of gesture, which is uh, being uh, implemented in this class. So let me know in the comments uh, section, whether you want to see a more detailed video about uh, W3C actions uh, in the future. If yes, then uh, I'll definitely come out with a video dedicated to swipe uh, and different gestures using W3C actions. Now let's move on to iOS uh, for the same op same. Uh, test here also we'll uh, use the traditional swipe approach same the same approach which we have used in android so this method is almost identical 
there is no change except that here we are using ios driver instead of android driver so let's execute this test uh, and see how it executes now right click on the method and click on run the test now this test will run on this simulator so any application is which is open it will close it it will reinstall the application and it will also reinstall it will start the application so now here also it will swipe until the element is displayed so here it has swiped three times and now fourth time it is able to see the element so that's how this uh, traditional approach works now let's move to second approach which is uh, using the swipe uh, using the execute script to swipe till the element is displayed so for android so in android we are using mobile colon scroll method in execute script where we are passing the arguments uh, there are three parameters in this arguments uh, so all these parameters uh, will help uh, this method to scroll till the element of we are looking for so first element uh, first, first parameter is the element id which is a scrollable view control and this control should be uh, found using the locator strategy ui selector so first let's uh, let's check the ui selector so here you can see that android ui automator selector is been used and in this we are using new ui selector to find that scrollable control so this is the mandatory thing you need to do and uh, another uh, parameter is the strategy so this is the target element which we are looking for and this is the strategy with, with which uh, we need to find that element so we are telling this method to use this uh, strategy accessibility id and the selector will contain the actual accessibility id of the of that element so using these three parameters this execute script will execute this uh, mobile colon scroll method and it will identify the element and it will directly scroll till the element so let's uh, see this method in action i'll right click and execute this uh, test let's see in the emulator here we can see that it directly scroll till the element without stopping in between this is a faster approach as compared to the traditional approach now let's see the similar example in with ios so in ios there is a separate method called uh, mobile colon scroll to element so this method is quite straightforwardly named uh, we know what this method will do and uh, the parameter which it takes is the uh, where element uh, id so we need to find the element which we need to scroll uh, and in ios you are able to find that element which is which are not yet visible on the view code so it will not give the no such element exception it will able it will be able to find the element so you don't need to worry that it will give such uh, errors like no such element it will find the element but when you try to see that uh, if you click if you expect that uh, method is displayed for this element it will be written false because that element is not yet visible on the screen so we just need to find this element and we need to pass the id using the remote web element we'll pass that uh, element into remote web element and we'll get the element id and pass it as the parameter so once this uh, element id is been passed to the execute script method it will directly scroll the element uh, scroll the element into view now let's see this example in action so you will not see the scrolling uh, animation it will directly pop the screen to the tele let's see this how it works see you it was pretty quick and directly it, it jumped to that element instead of uh, swapping and directly jump to that element and we were able to see the element so this uh, is it for option number 2 now let's uh, move to option number 3 which is only applicable in case of android for ios it is not applicable because we will be using a selector uh, strategy to scroll till the element and let's check out that selector strategy so here uh, you can see that i am directly finding the element using this uh, strategy 
and this uh, locator strategy is ui scrollable so in this locator we will be building the locator using ui scrollable and inside ui scrollable we will be uh, finding an element using ui selector whose attribute scrollable is uh, set at set to true now in this in this uh, scrollable method we will call scroll into view and uh, in this method we will pass the element till which we want to find that uh, element and scroll till the till that particular element so this is the uh, locator strategy for the target element new ui selector description is the driver io logo so now let's execute this uh, method and see how it works we'll right click on this method and click run now in the emulator this method will directly scroll, scroll till the element here also it did not stop in between it, it directly uh, did the swipe action till the element was displayed so that's pretty much it for the all different types of uh, ways you which you can use to scroll uh, till the element is displayed so i'll be for i'll be putting the link uh, for this uh, code which i have used in this uh, demo and i'll be posting this uh, project on the github i'll i'll share the link in the description box below so do check it out so that's it for today's video click on the like button and uh, share this video with your friends so they'll also learn something new for today about swipe and uh, let me know in the comments uh, what the next topic you would you like to see on this channel i'll uh, work on that and uh, upload that topic soon share your thoughts and feedbacks uh, in the comments below i would love to hear from you i check out this video uh, where i show you how you, how you can use the akm inspector with android and this video uh, to learn how you can uh, reduce uh, code duplication using lambda expression in java uh, thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video